Hi friend, welcome to my day long culinary adventure preparing a delightful five course meal for our Chinese guests. I started off with desserts, strawberry sauce and whole milk for kheer are bubbling on stuffed top. I'll be making shahi kheer for which I have soaked basmati rice. This is an Italian dessert called panna cotta. This gelatin and heavy cream based pudding is an effortless and elegant dessert. To complement our rich and decadent panna cotta, I made this strawberry sauce with strawberries, sugar and a tablespoon of lemon juice. I am transferring them into a container and will store them in the refrigerator. I thought I would serve panna cotta today just in case. If they don't end up liking Indian cuisine, they can at least revel in the delight of a dessert. To make panna cotta, all you need is heavy cream, a dash of vanilla essence and sugar. Bring it to a gentle boil and take it off the heat. While some may opt for milk, half and half and light cream, I'm going all in with heavy cream today. It turned out to be a tad bit too rich for my liking. Probably next time I'll add some milk to lighten it up. For kheer, I'll coarsely grind the soaked rice and add it to the milk. Adding some more vanilla essence since the initial amount fell flat against heavy cream. That's why they recommend using vanilla bean for a better flavor I guess. For entree, I'll make some garlic naan, butter chicken and ghee rice. Later on I'll make some lentil soup followed by kebab and fish fry and finally some salad. Here I'm making this bread with yeast. You could go with baking soda and baking powder as well. So for the dough, after activating the yeast, I'm using 4 cups of all-purpose flour, salt, some sugar, yogurt, milk and water. Booba is in the kitchen because daddy is making breakfast for everyone. Knead them into a soft dough, brush some melted butter on top to prevent it from drying out and let it rest for 2 hours. To finish up panna cotta, I'm adding a few drops of rum essence. I'm not a fan of this flavor, so just adding few drops, dropping in the prepared gelatin. Pour it through the sieve to remove any lumps, pouring them into my serving glasses. This is a heavy dessert, so a small amount will fill you up in no time. I got a whole lot of preparation to finish, so I'll clean up as I go. Once it comes to room temperature, I'll cover it with Klingon wrap and keep them in the refrigerator until they are ready to be served. My husband made me a toast and an omelet for breakfast. His Chinese friends like fish so we are making tandoori fish fry. He is helping me cut salmon into thick chunks. Kheer is almost ready. I'll infuse it with some aromatic saffron, cardamom and chopped nuts and cook for a few more minutes. The sink is clean and my husband volunteered to take care of baby in the afternoon. For tandoori fish fry marinade, you will need yogurt, red chilli powder, ginger garlic paste, turmeric garam masala, fenugreek leaves, salt and mustard oil. Mustard oil gives a nice smoky flavor to the meat even without using the charcoal smoke. Of course you should use if you have but I don't so I'm just going in with the mustard oil and it gives an amazing flavor. Nicely coat the cut fish and let it rest for an hour or two. Salmon has a strong flavor and this marinade perfectly complements the fish. You could use this marinade on any other fish as well and I'm sure it will be delicious. Whenever you make kheer, add some sugar at the end so the rice cooks through in a short time period. Also as milk thickens, it will taste sweeter so it is safe to add sugar at the final stage. Every time we invite our non-Indian friends, I stick to butter chicken because it's one of the most famous Indian dishes and I'm sure they must have tried it at restaurants and won't be surprised at our home. Butter chicken is a three-step process where in the first stage you have to prepare the main masala with onion, tomato and spices then grill the chicken separately and finally prepare onion base for the curry and add the masala gravy and the chicken and let it simmer for a while so it's it's a long process but delicious nonetheless. This is the most repeated curry on my channel so I'll leave the ingredient list in the description box below if you'd like to check out the recipe. A shahi kheer has come to room temperature. I'll pour it into the serving bowls, top it with some more nuts and refrigerate. I'm experimenting with lentil soup in a pressure cooker. Add some butter and oil, drop in some onion, garlic and carrots and cook for a few minutes. 
add pepper and salt to taste, add washed masoor dal and water. You could add vegetable stock or chicken stock if you prefer, cover and cook for a few whistles. I had already marinated my chicken last night which was the only preparation I made for today. I have 5 skewers here of which I'll use 2 skewers in butter chicken and serve the rest as appetizers. Soup is cooked through, I smash carrots as much as possible to bring in the soupy consistency and garnish with coriander leaves before serving and garnished with thinly sliced shallots and fried onions. I'm adding butter and some oil to grill my salmon on the stove top. For butter chicken base, add some butter, oil, onion and a small amount of ginger garlic paste and pour the masala through the sieve. I bake the chicken at 375 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. We'll add that into the sauce. Add some garam masala and kasturi methi and simmer for 10 minutes on medium low heat. It's 4 pm now and dinner preparation is 7% done at this point. I still have salad, naan and yogurt dip to make. I was pleasantly surprised to see mango and pomegranate in Trader Joe's so picked them up for salad. I gave the table setting task to my husband and I'm starting to panic at this point. I must have made like 15 naan bread in 15 minutes so it was such a rush. It's almost 5 now, they will be here by 6 or 6.30. At this point, I've finished all the cooking. Thank God, I need to clean up the kitchen, living room and the entrance. I'm giving a quick clean up so when they arrive, the house will be sparkling clean and they will never know what went behind. Husband loaded dishes in the afternoon so the washer was still full. On high speed mode, I washed all the dishes on the sink. Uh, went up and got Aura and myself dressed and presentable for our guests. I served soup in the ramekin. After they settle in, I'll arrange the table with desserts and main core dishes. Husband arranged all the chips and nuts in the bowls. I baked some papad in the microwave to use as scoop for a salad. We are all excitedly waiting for their arrival. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll catch you soon. Bye.